Mary Jo and I had gotten an email from somebody about Windows 10 devices, and I, I sort of revisited this topic today. I wrote this guy a very long email. It got bounced back. <laughs> it's kind of irritating. <laughs> but it's interesting to me that this has changed since Windows 10 first came out. And so on the Microsoft account website, which is account.microsoft.com slash devices, you can manage the devices, with the Windows 10 devices primarily, that are associated with your Microsoft account. And when Windows 10 first launched, there were three types of devices. Uh, there were apps and game devices. There were music devices, meaning the devices that you can use with a Zoom, um, sorry, <laughs> a Groove Music Pass, and then movies and TV devices, which are the devices to which you can download movies and TV shows you purchased from the Windows Store. Um, today, there are actually four categories, and the other category is just your devices. And so anytime you sign in with your Microsoft account on a PC or a tablet, a phone, an Xbox One, presumably a HoloLens, I don't have one to see if that's the case, but I assume that would be one as well, that thing will show up in your devices list. And you can have as many of those as you want. There's no actual limit to that, um, but they're... You know, there you can go and, and you can manage them. I mean, if it's a Microsoft device, you can actually trigger a support incident from this page. You can find accessories and apps. You can uh, find the phone if it's a phone or a uh, Surface devices. You can find those devices as well. Um, and so that's all kind of interesting. And so there's all that kind of stuff in there, and that's neat. But the the other lists, which again are for apps and games, music and movies and TV, all have limits. And they all and they have limits to the number of devices that can be associated with uh, your account. Uh, some of them are soft limits, some of them are hard limits, and then they have limits on the number of devices you can remove in some cases every month. So, for example, if when I look at you, it just the, your devices list, it's every device I've ever associated with my list, except that today I actually spent some time monotonously, <laughs> monotonously one by one removing them. It's a really time intensive process. You can only do one at a time. You have to make sure it's okay. If there's a recovery key associated with it, you have to say, yes, I have the recovery key. I can get I can get this thing back if I have to. It takes a long time. Um, but if you look at the apps and games devices list, this is also a long list in my case, uh, shorter than the main list. But these are the devices on which you've actually installed an app or a game associated with your Microsoft account through the store. And this is one of the first ones where there's a limit. And so you can actually install apps or games on up to 10 devices, Microsoft says. The truth is, I think I had 44 or 45 devices attached to my account when it started. <laughs> and I've never had a problem with apps or games on any device. And so I think of this as a soft limit because this, they're clearly doing nothing uh, to prevent you from having all these devices. I, I think the point of the device limit is that with Windows 10 being on multiple device types it's conceivable that one person could have several devices. You could have a PC and a laptop. You could have a phone. You might have a HoloLens. You, you know, you might, you, you have an Xbox One. Um, and at some point, they want to ensure that you don't buy a copy of a game through the Windows Store and then share it with all of your friends through an account. Like, they, they're trying to limit the number of times that purchases can go out to devices. This list you can remove devices as many times as you want all day long in fact i like i said i spent a good chunk of the day doing just that and so right now looking at it i only have about a half a dozen associate half a dozen devices associated with this list uh, because i removed all the other ones and then the other two these are the ones with the hard limits kind of come in so the music devices list for those people with a uh, groove music pass you can only have four devices associated with the music pass you can only remove one device every 30 days. It is a hard limit. If you remove a device and you want to remove another one, you literally have to wait 30 days. If you have four device, devices associated with the account, you try to add another one, it's not going to work. Um, you have to actually manage it. And so I only have two devices, so that's no problem. And then the final one is movies and TV devices. This is also a hard limit. For some reason, this one's five devices, not four. <laughs> I don't know why. And you can only remove one device every 30 days as with music. I only have one device associated with this kind of thing. It's my Surface Book. It's because I actually did download some movies to watch uh, on the device when I was traveling. But you want to, I really recommend that anyone who has, um, you know, is using Windows 10 on devices, whatever those devices may be, if it's uh, Xbox One, a PC or tablet, a phone, 
uh, presumably a HoloLens, you really should go and look at these lists and you should start culling devices that are out of date or maybe you sold or gave away and you should kind of keep track of this because I wouldn't be surprised to discover that the apps and games devices list in particular becomes a hard limit at some point because eventually there will be abuse of this stuff because with all these de devices prol proliferating out in the world, um, I could picture them, Microsoft, turning this into a hard limit. Um, which leads me to a, an important, what I call a meta tip about naming devices. When you sign into a Windows 10 PC, a tablet, phone, uh, uh, for the first time, do not sign in with your Microsoft account ever. Um, sign in, Sign in as a local account the first time. Get to the desktop and then rename the computer because or the phone. Because if you don't, it doesn't matter if you rename it later. It will always have some garbage oh, name. No. In the case of a PC, it will be desktop dash and then some combination of letters and numbers <laughs> that in no way identifies that computer to you. Um, this raises its head in two places. Uh, one is in this devices list, where at least under the name of the device, you can actually see what kind of devices. So it's not totally horrible. But the other place this comes up is in OneDrive. And if you go to OneDrive.com on the web, on the left rail, you'll see you know, the major places in uh, OneDrive, but then there's also a list of PCs. And the PC list uses those names of PC. So in my case, all of the names are names that mean sense to me, like NUC is one of them, Spectre X2 is one of them. They're actual PC names. And so I can tell just looking at the list what those computers are. But if they all say desktop dash, blah, 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 desktop dash, blah, 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 you have no idea which one is which. And if you go to remove one, which you can do from the web interface, you might remove the wrong one. And so... The tip here, and this is true of Windows Phone as well, if you sign into a Windows Phone, don't sign in with your Microsoft account. The device by default will have the name Windows-Phone. Rename it. Then sign in with your Microsoft account. Because then these things all get propagated to the various places online with the right name. Um, so that's just something I, I don't... I don't remember if I put this in the book or not, but... Um, this is something I do when I set up my own devices. And uh, it's funny, going through the list of old computers on the Microsoft account website, I, I could see from last year, because, again, I had dozens and dozens of devices. A lot of the old devices had really awful names, and there's no way to tell what they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, I have a bunch of them, you know? yeah. Yeah, 